I thought that they got it all year long. I just think that you just got to go through the process of putting it together and uh, and defining roles and accepting roles and finding out. I mean, because in the beginning, I didn't know where to play Tony Allen. I didn't know how he was going to fit in. Uh, Sam Young wasn't playing at all. Uh, so, you know, you know, things change and you, you just keep twisting. I think early in the season, a coach's job is to go out and give people opportunity to play themselves into more playing time or less playing time. And sometimes that bodes for more losses than people think you should have. But I think it's an important uh, step in developing your team and giving everybody an opportunity to play and show what they can and can't do. I just think that if you're going to be successful, you got to listen to your own heart and what you believe in and just stick with it. You're going to be criticized and as it, as it struggles to come to fruition, you're going to be criticized, but you got to still believe it within. And I think uh, that's very important if you're going to be successful because everybody knows what's best for you and everybody knows what you should do. And then when you do it their way and it doesn't work, they'll say they're going to criticize you again for listening to them. It's bowed me well, those experiences, to come in here and know that I had a plan and uh, I was going to stick with it and I was going to drive it home every day. And as long as I was going to be here, that's what I was going to do and what I'm going to do. And I think that um, eventually the people start saying, he really believes it. He's not just talking, he believes it. And I think if you believe it as strongly as you do, then that's when you get other people to buy into it. But if you're flip-flopping every day and wishy-washy, I think people question whether or not you have that same uh, belief and faith. We want to win a playoff series, move on. You know, that's what getting in the playoffs is about, is, is having that experience so you can grow. And uh, the best is to win and move to the next round. And, and have another playoff experience so that you grow a little bit further. Ultimately, it will come down to whether you're good enough. And the only way you can move forward though with the, with the group is to have the experiences. You know, just a year and a half ago, you know, we talked about growing and building and to see it come to fruition is definitely rewarding uh, from, from my perspective to watch all the young players develop and become basketball players that make an impact on winning is rewarding. That's where I get my reward from, just you know, watching the guys develop and watching the guys come together and do what they're capable of doing. Uh, we have a group of uh, uh, very professional, talented players who've made the sacrifices and made the commitment and efforts, and I'm just happy to be a part of the ride. Three years ago, the spark of an idea generated hope. Hope for this day. Hope for this opportunity. It was an idea whose time had come. The power of an idea is only as strong as its commitment to be fulfilled. This team is a result of that commitment. They play with heart, passion, determination. They've exemplified grit and grind. They've exemplified sacrifice. They've exemplified team. This season, Grizzlies fans were asked to believe. This season, this team has given reason to. Second quarter, OJ Mayo on the inside. Wild shot doesn't go. Darrell is 20. 
brings it down and a foul. Yeah. 